Kira is a very independent young lady. Yeah. Two years ago, she moved into a one-story house in Alaska. Since then, she's been living there with her dog. Her house is made of sandstone, and it's pretty cozy and warm. Can you guess the color of the stairs inside? There are no stairs in a one-story building. One day, Kira went to town to buy some dog food and meet with her sister, Mia. They went for a walk and stopped in front of these two houses. In each house, a family with two pets, with dogs or cats, lived there. Kira told Mia two facts about those houses. On the left, the family has a dog that likes dry food, but the other pet loves canned food. And the family in the house on the right has a seven-year-old dog and a newborn pet. Mia asked Kira, Do both families have a cat? Kira replied, I'm not sure, but if you manage to guess the house with the cat, I'll give you $100. Can you guess which family is more likely to have a cat? Okay, let's analyze this. The house on the left offers us three possible scenarios. A younger cat and an older dog, a younger dog and an older cat, or just two dogs. We can't consider a cat-cat option because Mia mentioned that there was at least one dog in that house. Now, all these three options are equally possible, and two of them include cats. So the chances of a cat living in that house are two out of three. As for the house on the right, there are two possible scenarios, since we already know that the older pet is a dog. Here's the first possibility. The younger pet is a cat, and the older animal is a dog. And the second possibility suggests that there are just two dogs. So, here, the chances are one in two. That's why Kira should choose the house on the left. This way, her chances of winning are higher. Mia invited Kira to visit her workplace. She's a manager in a luxury resort hotel. The building has seven floors. Five people are now staying in the rooms on the first floor. And on each next floor, there are three people more than on the previous floor. Can you figure out which floor the elevator is called most often? To the first floor. Any person living not on the first floor has to call the elevator to get to their room. Will is a famous billionaire. He decided to stay in the best room in the hotel. He's got three gold bars that weigh four, two, and one pound respectively. The charge for the room is one pound of gold per day. And the hotel staff don't accept any advanced payments. Will wants to stay at the hotel for seven days. How can he pay for the room? Here's the scheme. On the first day, Will should give them his one pound bar. On the second day, he should give the two pound bar and take his one pound gold bar back. On the third day, Will should pay with the one pound bar again. And on the fourth day, the guy should give the four pound bar and take both the one and two pound gold bars back. On the fifth day, he can pay with the one pound bar. On the sixth day, he can give them the two pound bar and take the one pound bar back. And finally, on the seventh day, Will should pay with his last one pound gold bar. Will offered Mia a deal. If you crack my riddle, I'm going to give you the biggest diamond from my collection. Ah. He arranged these matchsticks in a square, which contained four smaller squares. Can you remove only two matches so that there's only two squares instead of the five? Mia nailed it right away. What about you? Here's the solution. You have to remove these matchsticks, and voila, you have only two squares left. Then Will offered Kira an opportunity to win a fortune. There are 100 precious red stones and 100 simple white stones in his collection. The billionaire gave the girl two different bags labeled heads and tails. She can put the stones wherever she likes. Then, Kira has to flip a coin and choose a stone from the corresponding bag, heads or tails. If it's a red one, she will receive all the precious stones, but if she picks a white stone, she'll get nothing. How should Kira distribute the stones to increase her chances of winning?
If she puts just one red stone in one bag and all the other stones in another, her chances of winning will be 3 in 4. Let's wish her luck! There are both humans and werewolves in the lobby of this hotel. They look very similar, so you can't identify who is who by their appearance. Both people and werewolves tell either only the truth or only lies. These two handsome gentlemen came up to Mia and Kira. Adam said, Bill is a lying werewolf and I'm a human. And Bill said, Adam is telling the truth. Can you help Kira and Mia decide who these two guys really are? We know that they cannot tell half-truths. So, Adam's statement is only true if both parts of it are true. Let's suppose that Bill is an honest human. Then Adam should be honest too. But Adam called Bill a liar, which creates a conflict. It means that Bill's statement cannot be true. So Bill is a liar. Hmm. And knowing that, we can conclude that Adam is a liar too. But what about their nature? Are they humans or werewolves? Adam's first statement is a lie, which means that Bill is not a werewolf. Therefore, Bill is a lying human. And the second part of Adam's statement means that he's a lying werewolf. Adam and Bill invited Kira and Mia for dinner. When they asked the ladies about their parents, Kira replied, We have the same father and mother, and we are both born on the same day. Adam asked, Are you twins? Mia replied, Nope, no we're not. How can this be possible? Have you guessed? Kira and Mia are not twins. They're two of a set of triplets. They have a third sister, Sophie. Hi. Kira and Mia went to the swimming pool. They saw 10 swimmers chilling on sunbeds near the pool. Two of them decided to jump into the water. How many swimmers remain near the pool at that moment? The two swimmers might have decided to get into the water, but it doesn't mean they've done it. Kira entered a very small dressing room. There were four cats sitting in four corners. There were three cats across from each cat. And at each cat's tail, there was one more cat. Can you tell how many cats there were in the room? The room was very small. Each cat was sitting near the tail of the cat from the neighboring corner. In the ladies' room, Mia met this weird woman standing in front of the mirror and applying some lipstick on her forehead. Can you guess what's going on? She's trying to make up her mind. In the basement of the hotel, Mia and Kira found a barrel with no lid and some milk in it. Kira said, Whoa, this barrel of milk is more than half full. Oh. And Mia said, no, it's not. It's less than half full. Yes. Without any measuring tools or pouring any milk out of the barrel, how can they easily determine who's right? They should tilt the barrel until the milk touches its lip. If the bottom of the barrel is visible, it's less than half full. And if the bottom is still completely covered with the milk, then it's more than half full. A large group of students came to a scientific conference held at the hotel. 280 students study chemistry, 254 students study physics, and 280 students study biology. At the same time, 97 students study both chemistry and physics. And 138 students study both physics and biology. And 152 students study chemistry and biology. Also, there are 73 students who study all three subjects. Can you figure out the total number of students at the conference? Take a look at this Venn diagram. Now, it's obvious that the total number of students is 500. Mia gave Kira three shoe boxes labeled red, blue, and red and blue. She said, I labeled the boxes incorrectly. You can only open one box of your choice and then label the boxes correctly. If you do it, I'll give you all these shoes. 
Can you help Kira label the boxes? Kira should opt for the box labeled red and blue. Since the boxes are labeled incorrectly, this box will contain either red shoes or blue shoes. Let's suppose that Kira found red shoes inside the box. Now she can remove the red label from the wrong box and put it on the correct one. Meanwhile, the box labeled blue cannot have blue shoes inside. Neither can it contain red shoes. It means the blue box must contain both red and blue shoes. Now, Kira has only one remaining box that she can label as blue. And if inside the red-blue box there's a pair of blue shoes, Kira can use the same logic to label the remaining shoes. Take a look at the table. How many matches can you see? Eight. Here they are. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. Holly went to the supermarket to buy a watermelon. She found these four watermelons, but only uh -oh. one of them is edible. Can you guess which one? The first watermelon is a hologram. See those flashing pixels? The tail of the second watermelon is a green snake. Probably not the safest choice. And the fourth watermelon has little cracks. So Holly should choose the third watermelon. One dark, cold night, Harry and Pam were chilling together in their country house. Harry was watching a movie while his wife Pam enjoyed her favorite mystery book. Suddenly, all electricity went out. Harry decided to go to bed, but Pam decided to finish the book. There was no artificial light around, but this fact didn't stop Pam. How is that possible? Pam was listening to an audiobook on her phone. It's big on Saturday and Sunday. It's small on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. It's absent on Monday and Friday. What are we talking about? It's the letter S. Bella and Ken took a flight to Europe to celebrate their honeymoon. It took them two and a half hours to reach the destination. After spending two weeks together, they flew back home. However, it took 150 minutes this time, even though the plane flew at the same speed. Can you guess why? Turns out that two and a half hours are exactly 150 minutes. Karen went camping in a jungle with her three best friends. Yay! They had a wonderful dinner and went to sleep. In the morning, Karen woke up first and found out that someone oh, no. had eaten all the food from the bag. She questioned her friends. Josh said, I was very tired and fell asleep as soon as my head touched the pillow. I don't know what happened. Leah said, I left the tent in the middle of the night to go to the toilet. The food was in the bag near the tree where we left it. Wendy said, I left the tent at night and spent some time stargazing. I ate just one chocolate, I swear. Who ate the food? It was the monkey who was hiding in the tree. See those footprints around the bag? They are definitely not human. Gerald is a college dean. Somebody stole his car this morning. Soon the police found it across the street. The thief hit a pole and escaped. The police interviewed three suspects. Holly said, I was busy having classes all morning. Then I went for a walk with my friends. Brian said, I was checking the test papers. Rob said, I skipped classes and spent the day at my girlfriend's studio. Can you guess who stole the car? It was Holly. Take a closer look inside the car. She lost one of her earrings. 
The combined age of Jenny and Jasmine is 49 years old. Jenny is twice as old as Jasmine was when Jenny was as old as Jasmine is now. How old are the sisters? Jenny is 28 and Jasmine is 21. Lisa likes grapes, but not potatoes. She likes squash, but not lettuce. Also, she likes peas, but not onions. Following the same rule, will she like pumpkins or apples? Pumpkins, because Lisa only prefers things that grow on vines. Which of the following words don't belong to this group and why? Courts. All the other words are anagrams of each other. Two people participated in a contest. They had to hold something. Finally, the jury announced the winner. It was a person with their hands and feet tied. How can this be possible? It's all simple. The contestants had to hold their breath. And the tied person managed to hold it the longest. Becky is thinking about a seven-letter word that we read very often. Letters 5, 6, and 7 grow every year. Letters 3 and 4 are the same. Letters 3, 2, and 5 cover over 70% of the world. What word is Becky thinking of? The correct answer is message. Our age grows every year, and the C covers over 70% of the planet. Amy is looking at Nick, and Nick is looking at Mia. Amy is married, and Mia is not. Is a married person looking at the unmarried person? Will you go with a yes or a no? Or is this information insufficient? The correct answer is yes. Two combinations are possible here. If Nick is married, Mia, who is unmarried, is looking at him, who is married. If Nick is unmarried, we still have Amy, who is married. In this case, she's looking at Nick, who is single, which meets the requirements too. Five friends were eating apples. Amy finished before Bob, but after Kat. Dan finished before Eve, but after Bob. Can you figure out the exact order in which they finished the apples? Cat, Amy, Bob, Dan, and Eve. Eric's job is to guard a supermarket parking lot. One day, he was walking around the area as usual and noticed that someone had parked the car in the middle of the driveway. He questioned four women. Ladies, who is the owner of this car? All four women replied, it's not my car. Eric took a closer look at the vehicle and figured out its owner right away. Can you guess which of these women is the owner of the car? It's the first lady. She's the only person who's not wearing a bag. Her bag is in the car. Peter came home in the evening and found his car wrecked. His three roommates were there. Peter decided to find out who was guilty, so he questioned them. Josh replied, I didn't touch your car. I was walking the dog. Mike said, that wasn't me. I was playing football with my friend. And Will said, "Mm, nothing special happened today. I was just hanging out with our neighbors. Can you spot the liar? It's Will. He said he'd visited the neighbors, but nobody lives in this abandoned house. Plus, his cheek looks like he was in a crash. Sophie was sleeping. Suddenly, a robber broke into her apartment. 
he locked Sophie in the bathroom and asked her to stay quiet. Then the robber began to collect cash and jewelry around the apartment. Suddenly, the phone started ringing. The robber told Sophie to pick up and talk without giving away the situation. Sophie picked up the phone. It was her husband. She said, Oh, hi, darling. Is it an emergency, darling? Give me a call when you land. I'll cook your favorite meal that will help you relax after your business trip. Then she hung up. Ten minutes later, the police arrived at Sophie's house and caught the robber. Can you guess how the police learned about the robbery? Sophie played with the mute buttons. She pressed mute on specific parts of her conversation to make her husband only hear emergency, call, and help. And he called the police right away. Rick woke up in a weird basement and saw three doors. He has only one chance to escape. If he enters one of the doors, he won't be able to use them again. The first door leads to a room with high-voltage wires hanging above the wet floor. Behind the second door, there's a room filled with water and piranhas swimming in it. The third door leads to a space where flesh-melting acid rain is falling from the ceiling. Which door is more or less safe to enter? Rick should choose the first door. He'll be okay if he won't let his body come in contact with the wires and the wet floor at the same time. Jerry called his wife Robin and told her that he would be home by 7 o'clock. They didn't plan anything special for that evening, but when he arrived at 2 minutes past 7, Robin was furious. Why was she so angry? Any ideas? She thought her husband would come home after work by 7 p.m., but he appeared by 7.02 a.m. the next morning. When the day after tomorrow is yesterday, today will be as far from Wednesday as today was from Wednesday when the day before yesterday was tomorrow. What is the day after this day? Can you guess? It's Thursday! Harry and Barry are two magicians performing this evening in two nightclubs on the same street. But one of them is fake. Can you guess who? It's Barry. Take a closer look under the magician's tuxedo. On the right, you can see a restaurant employee badge with his name on it. He must be a waiter who came instead of the real magician. A monkey, a squirrel, and a bird are racing to the top of a coconut tree. Who will get the banana first, the monkey, the squirrel, or the bird? None of them, because bananas don't grow on coconut trees. Bonnie is cooking dinner. She has three stoves, a gas stove, a wood stove, and a coal stove. But only one match. What should she light first of all? The match! You are a bus driver. Nine people get on the bus, and three people get on. Then, two more people get on, and another one gets off. Finally, four more people get on, and two get off again. How old is the bus driver? Whatever your age is, remember the question? You're the driver. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.